This video will take you inside Ryzen AI with Rialto. Ryzen AI is a new neural processing unit or NPU for machine learning. Rialto is an open source exploration framework for first time Ryzen AI developers. It lets you explore the architecture and learn how to start programming the Ryzen AI NPU. First, why do we need a new processing unit? We are currently witnessing one of the most exciting periods in the evolution of computing with incredible advances in AI. AI brings many benefits, but it is very compute intensive. Machine learning inference using a trained machine learning model for a real world problem demands significant specialized computing power. Today, most AI is in the cloud. We want machine learning inference running locally on our laptops for speed, reliability, privacy, and security. We also want lightweight, ultra thin laptops with long battery life. For this, we need energy efficient computing power. CPUs and GPUs cannot deliver the energy efficiency needed for local AI inference. The Ryzen AI NPU is a new class of processing unit optimized for machine learning inference. Just as a GPU enhances system performance for gaming, Ryzen AI significantly boosts the performance and efficiency of machine learning workloads. The AMD Ryzen 7000 Phoenix family is the first generation of AMD processors to integrate an NPU. The floor plan shows an x86 CPU, a GPU, and the new Ryzen AI NPU, all integrated in the same chip. A second generation and third generation of Ryzen AI NPU will be available in new AMD processors in 2024. Windows Studio FX ships with Windows 11 and is the first software suite to take advantage of Ryzen AI. It applies AI effects to your camera and microphone, making you look and sound your best. Auto framing keeps you centered in the camera and advanced background effects transform your video conference background. Eye gaze correction makes it seems like you're looking at the camera, improving your connection with your audience. These features are exclusively available only to systems with a dedicated NPU. First, let's compare NPUs to CPUs and GPUs. CPUs are designed for general purpose computing. They have control flow architectures that can handle lots of different types of applications with typically good performance per watt efficiency. In comparison, GPUs are more specialized for graphics and can handle some other compute with better efficiency than CPUs. In contrast, an NPU is a highly specialized domain specific accelerator based on a data flow architecture. Data flow means that the flow of data in the chip drives computation. The NPU is designed to give higher performance and efficiency for machine learning inference. The Ryzen AI NPU Dataflow architecture consists of an array of interconnected compute, memory, and interface tiles. The array is optimized for machine learning workloads. The processing tasks are distributed across the array of compute tiles, a concept often referred to as spatial computing. The interface tiles manage movement of data into and out of the array. Input and output data is streamed between the NPU and system memory via the interface tiles. The memory tiles consist of data memory and multiple specialized data movers. Together, they ensure data is moved efficiently within the array, which is critical for overall performance. Memory tiles are used to buffer and reorganize input data in different patterns before streaming it to the compute nodes. Memory tiles can also be used to collect results from the compute tiles for streaming back to the interface tiles and out of the array. Each compute tile contains a processor called an AI engine that is optimized for machine learning. It has its own local program memory and separate data memory, and a switch for streaming data connections with the other tiles in the NPU. The AI engine is a very long instruction word or VLIW processor. It is also a single instruction multiple data or SIMD architecture. It has a program memory, a scalar processing unit used for local program control, and a vector processing unit. Machine learning computation is done by the vector unit, which has fixed point and floating point subsystems, that support ML data types including in 4, 8, and 16, and BF16. The cores do not have nor need interrupts, which makes these cores deterministic, which is really important for real time performance. Each core is capable of 0.5 tops. The current generation Ryzen AI NPU array with 20 compute tiles provides 10 tops. Each compute tile has a four port data memory with north, south, east, and west ports. The memory's west port is connected to the AI engine in the same tile. The other three ports are connected to the AI engines in neighboring tiles. 
There are also stream interfaces, which are used to move data into and out of this memory from non-neighboring tiles. Each compute tile connects to other tiles in the array via its memory and stream connections. Let's look next at the data memory connections. An AI engine in a compute tile is connected to the data memory in its own tile and also the memory of its three nearest neighboring tiles. A single AI engine can access four times its data memory for its own application, or neighboring AI engines can access each other's data memory for data sharing and transferring results. A streaming network runs throughout the array. Every tile has an interconnect switch to connect to this network. The compute tile has four data movers connected to the stream switch, two inputs and two outputs. Data can be sent long distances around the array using this network. Note that there is no cache in the compute tiles or anywhere else in the array. Data movement is optimized and sent only to where it is needed. The memory tiles marshal the flow of data between the interface tiles and compute tiles. There are 12 data movers per memory tile, supporting multiple streams of data concurrently. The data movers are similar to those in the compute tiles, but there are more of them and they have more features to support advanced machine learning data movement patterns, where data is indexed in two, three, and four dimensions, as well as offering on-the-fly data compression and decompression for handling weight sparsity, which is an important feature for machine learning. A memory tile has its own memory so that data can be buffered, partitioned, and reorganized in this tile before it is streamed, broadcast, or multicast into the array. The primary function of the interface tile is to manage data movement into and out of the array. It has a streaming switch like the compute and memory tiles, four data movers, which are the same type as the compute tile, and an interface to external system memory. I'll briefly introduce Dataflow graphs. We'll use these in Rialto to design software applications and map them onto the Ryzen AI Dataflow architecture. A Dataflow graph is simply a graphical representation of the application. Parallel and data intensive tasks, including machine learning algorithms, map well to these types of graphs. The graph consists of compute nodes and data buffers, as shown in the simple four node example here. We'll use this example to highlight features of Dataflow graphs and the Ryzen AI Dataflow architecture. Nodes could be very simple operations or larger software functions. For example, a graph could represent a layer of a machine learning algorithm with many nodes, each representing an operator, or alternatively, a node could represent a whole layer of the network. We will typically map nodes in our Dataflow graph to compute tiles. So a node will represent a software function that is a significant part of an application. This will be covered in more detail in Rialto. In a Dataflow graph, the compute nodes run independently. If a node has data, it executes. Data streaming through the array drives execution, hence the term Dataflow computing. High throughput comes from multiple compute nodes processing data in parallel. Dataflow graphs and architectures scale to deliver extremely high throughput and efficiency. On the right, you can see an NPU column with four compute tiles, a memory tile, and interface tile. Interface tiles manage input and output streams of data. With one interface tile at the bottom, we typically consider the NPU resources in columns. Applications map to one or more column. Nodes labeled N1 to N4 represent four different software functions that form an application. The connections and memory buffers between the nodes show data flow through the application. You can see how each node can be mapped to the AI engine processors in the compute tiles. Mapping parallel data flow algorithms to the NPU's array of processors, memories, and data movers is one instance of a style of computing that is commonly referred to as spatial computing. Spatial computing is increasingly important for the realization of algorithms that need both high throughput and power efficiency. The memory connections and streaming interfaces are configured to match the data flow in the graph. You can see the full example application running on an NPU column. The Rialto tutorials will cover the NPU architecture and this type of application mapping in much more detail. You will see how you can create your own Ryzen AI application from a Dataflow graph. We can run four different applications concurrently, one per column, which is how the Windows Studio effects applications we saw earlier are implemented. Larger applications could run on all of the available columns. In fact, we can mix and match resources as required at runtime. 
In summary, the NPU provides high throughput, low latency processing with compute tiles optimized for machine learning. With the local multi-port data memories and the streaming network, the NPU has enhanced data movement capabilities. This allows overlapping of compute and data movement to keep processor efficiency high. There are no caches or interrupts, which help streamline the processor cores and provide determinism. The architecture is modular and scalable. The designer decides how to allocate and scale resources to match the application's requirements. In this last section, I'll talk about how you can program the NPU. Rialto is an open source exploration framework you can use to explore the data flow architecture of the Ryzen AI NPU and learn about available programming tools. When you install Rialto on your Ryzen AI laptop, you will get a series of interactive Jupyter notebooks introducing the NPU and covering architecture features, Python examples showing how to program the NPU for vision processing, and machine learning examples with Onyx. Onyx is an open source framework for deploying models from popular machine learning frameworks. For example, we can use PyTorch with Onyx. Onyx takes a PyTorch model, quantizes and exports it as an Onyx graph before being deployed on the Ryzen AI NPU. Example code for a PyTorch model and its associated Onyx operator graph are shown here. The code on the left is Python. The Onyx graph on the right is a representation of the model. Notice the graph is very similar to the data flow graphs we have seen earlier. Quantized Onyx models are sent to the Onyx runtime, where the graph is partitioned and the performance critical Onyx operators are dispatched to the Ryzen AI NPU for energy efficient acceleration. The x86 CPU and integrated GPU are also available to help run parts of these machine learning models. You can start using Onyx by following the Rialto Onyx tutorial examples. After this, you can use Onyx to deploy your own models. MLIR AIE is an open source software toolchain by AMD Research for AI engines. It is based on the hugely popular MLIR compiler framework. It generates the low level configuration data needed for the components of the Ryzen AI NPU, including tiles and streaming interfaces. MLIR AIE is used in Rialto to build the tutorial examples. If you're a compiler researcher or developer, visit the MLIR AIE GitHub repository to find out more. Install Rialto now to get started exploring Ryzen AI. Download the installer from the Rialto web pages by following the link on the screen or the QR code. If you don't have a Ryzen AI laptop yet, you can browse the Rialto material on the web pages.